Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is my granddaughter, Savannah. She is going to be helping me do some harvest in my greenhouse today. And right now she's working on cutting the tops off the potatoes. And then we're gonna dump them out and search through the dirt and see if we have any potatoes, I'm hoping. Um, I pulled a little bit of dirt away the other day and I didn't find anything, but we're gonna dump the dirt out and the two of us are gonna harvest potatoes today. So right now, what she's doing is just cutting all the tops off. It is so hot today. She's kind enough to help me get this done before it gets too hot. So let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. We're going to find out how many potatoes was in our first bucket. There's lots of little ones. Okay, so we got one potato. Yeah, a smaller one. I don't think these are going to be real huge. I'll try to put those on the where we are. Oh my gosh, Grandma. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get my hands dirty. Little tiny potatoes. Teeny little potatoes. Those would be snacks. Like snacks. <laughs> Something satisfying just digging through the dirt. Get your hands dirty and just dig it in the dirt. I'll cover these up, didn't you? So. dumped all the dirt out onto a piece of plastic so it would be easier for us <laughs> the the tiny, little tiny. Tiny. so it'd be easier for us to put the dirt into the bucket put it back in the bucket so we can reuse it later I think that bucket was uh, kind of a fail we got quite a few though can you see in there Quite a few. 
Okay guys, here we go with our second bucket. Hopefully we'll get better product out of this one. I'll let Wonder Woman here start. <laughs> Ooh, there's a good size one, right off the bat. Okay, we're gonna go picking through the tubes. Um, I'm pretty sure this Tata's bad. Oh, it almost looks like Banana. It does look like a banana. I'll show it. I'll show it later. It's hard to see from this far away. Should you keep this? No. Because it's got like sort no. no. Potatoes are done and done. Ow. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let my granddaughter Savannah do some harvesting since she wanted to be my helper today. Yep, nice tomato. It's one of our beef steak. Look at the beef steaks. Look at them. There's a lot of them. We're going to get a lot of tomatoes this year. There's lots of cherry tomatoes around. Make sure they're nice and red, baby. Yep. Hard to pick one-handed. <laughs> You're not a one-handed picker? Nope. Hard. Make sure they're red, please. Okay. Yep. How'd you get so dirty, girl? Um, <laughs> we were harvesting the tea. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Doesn't want to let you have it, does it? No. Yeah, I think those two and then that one right above it is probably ready. Think so? This one? Yeah, do you think? Yeah. And then this one. Okay, that's probably good for these two plants. This is going to be my farm girl right here. She likes coming out and helping. Okay, now where are we going? Your way. What do we got? The tomatoes are the one thing we had that did really, really good. And we have some more here. Oh, of course that one let me pick one-handed. <laughs> Are we having some technical difficulty? Yes, many. And the beefsteak tomatoes behind her there. I thought I lost these two plants. But they are really coming through with the tomatoes. I was very happy about that. Well, look at this one. That one is just covered in cherry tomatoes. Did you get a bunch more? Yeah, there's still more. Is there? Okay, and we have just a few radishes. Look at these tomatoes. Got tons of tomatoes. Yeah. So this radish? Yeah. So I just pull it. Yeah, just pull it up. Yeah. Don't want to hurt it. Oh, that's not a bad radish. Look at this. That's not bad at all. That's a nice size radish. And then you said this one? Uh, yeah, that one can probably go. We just had a few that I threw in here. We didn't. None of us are great radish fans, so. Oh, that one's okay. It's not anything to get excited about, but it's okay. And then you and then said one. that one? <clears throat> yeah, that one in the back. That's a decent one. Yep. Yeah, I think the rest of them are still making, so we'll leave them. 
Okay, we've had a few strawberries. I really wasn't expecting any this year. Hold up. Okay. And I want to show you get some strawberries. Nice looking strawberries actually, not bad size. Lots and lots of runners. I've already potted a couple of runners. And this is a runner. But we're getting like tons of them. I'm going to have to get more pots out here and pot these up so we can have more plants. And I have like three strawberries right here. Yeah, we got three nice ripe strawberries here. Those ones in the back are too, too not ready yet, are they? No. No. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, not too bad. They're small. The ones in the back, though, are going to be nice ones. Wait, those aren't ready yet? No. Yeah, these are nice back here. I forgot it's hard to pick strawberries and tomatoes. <laughs> we got three little strawberries. They're tiny, but... Like I said, I wasn't really expecting any of these to make strawberries yet this year, and nice little pleasant surprise. So I think that's it for today, and this is our strawberries. And I've got a little bit of problems here with the with these dying, but I do have a remedy for that, so those should clear up. And the rest of them are looking pretty good. So that's our video for day, today, guys. This is my great granddaughter helper. Her name's Savannah, and she likes to come over and help me with the garden. So we'll talk to you guys later. Basil. This is my kitchen harvest basil, and it weighs 2.17 ounces. And I have entered it into my book for Shed Wars. And that's it for basil this week. And here's my parsley hull. 2.11 ounces. I got cherry tomatoes out of my garden and it came to 34.45 ounces or 2 pounds 0.153 ounces. So just a little over two pounds of cherry tomatoes. That's not bad for one week. Okay, here are my bell peppers. They are small, but I don't think they're going to get any bigger. Um, I just don't know what happened to them this year, but they're, they look healthy and they look good. But they are small, but I'm going to take it. Uh, my garden is not doing well this year, so I'm not real happy with some of the turnout, but it's not over yet, guys. I'm still trying. And for the peppers, the bell peppers, I have 19.46 ounces. Okay, I got a little bit of lemon balm. Not as much as I got last time, but um, my plants needed to be trimmed, so this is what I got. So for lemon balm, and I've already subtracted the um, bowl, so this is 7 ounces, 7.90 ounces of lemon balm.